माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरसिमरन सीनियर रेजिडेंट इन महारिषि महाकंडेश्वर मेडिकल कॉलेज अम्बाला वी हैड अ पेशेंट विच हैड अ राइट ट्यूमर स्पिंडल सेल कास्नोमा विच वॉज एक्सटेंडिंग फ्रॉम द नेक टू द शोल्डर द पेशेंट कुड नॉट लाइव फ्लैट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ट्यूमर द पेशेंट हैड नो एक्सटेंशन दिस पेशेंट वॉज टेकन इन ऑपरेशन टेबल एंड गोल्ड स्टैंडर्ड फाइबर ऑप्टिक वॉज प्लान फॉर दिस पेशेंट एवरी एन एस एजोलॉजिस्ट मस्ट नो दिस फाइबर ऑप्टिक ऑल दो देर आर लेस नंबर ऑफ फाइबर ऑप्टिक्स इन इंडिया Before going on for fiber optic transtracheal block with 4% lidocaine was given to the patient after inserting through the cricothyroid membrane after piercing the cricothyroid membrane the superior laryngeal block was also planned for this patient but the superior laryngeal block could only be given on one side because the other side there was a large tumor the superior laryngeal block was given with 2% lidocaine after hitting the hyoid bone and after palpating it Here we can see the superior laryngeal block is being given, but the superior laryngeal block could not be given on the other side. Then lidocaine was sprayed onto the vocal cords, and in the meanwhile, all the preparation for the fiber optic was ready. The fiber optic was held, and the tube was loaded onto the fiber optic. The fiber optic held to be held straight, and jelly was applied on the fiber optic except the tip of the fiber optic. Then this fiber optic was inserted through the nostrils. and it was slowly inserted through the nostrils and as we reached on to the nasopharynx we tried to lift the epiglottis and have a better view of the vocal cords but since as we can see the vocal cords were not paralyzed because the superior laryngeal block was given only on one side and in this moving vocal cords it is very difficult to pass the bronchoscope through it so i performed a maneuver i asked the patient to say ah As the patient said ah the vocal cords moved wide apart and then as soon as his vocal cords moved wide apart we slided down into the trachea we passed the fiber optic in a fast motion and reaching on to the trachea we tried to go inside slowly and slowly inside the trachea so that we could visualize the carina as you can see we are going down the trachea slowly and slowly and Uh, slowly we had a view of the carina once the carina was visible to us as we can see we are moving on to the carina here we could have a clear view of the carina and as soon as we saw the carina the tube was inserted into the trachea and slowly and slowly as the tube was inserted into the trachea we started moving out the fiber optic bronchoscope out of it and the tube was pushed inside and fixed into the trachea bilateral air entry was checked and confirmed and the tube was fixed and the intubation was successful thank you